All right, so in this video, what we're gonna show you is how to use Rockwell's OPC test client for testing your live data through your actual OPC. So why would you do this, right? So you would do this for multiple reasons. So if you have trouble, you know, transmitting data from your PLC to your Excel spreadsheet, or even from your PLC maybe to a factory talk application, factory talk studio um, HMI application, or maybe even a third party HMI or a third party uh, OPC that you're actually using. So this is a way you can actually troubleshoot it. If something's not working, you can come in here and use this tool and be able to see the live data. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set this up 100% so that you can actually be successful. But please note that you will not be able to do this if you are running uh, RS Links Lite. Okay, so if you're running uh, RS Links, I am running RS Links Classic OEM. Again, you it, as long as you're not running the light version, you're able to do this. So if you're running the light version, you will not be able to do an OPC DDE. So I just want you to be aware of that. So um, as you see right here, I've already set up a driver, which is going to be our live data test, right? And this is already connected to my 30-day YouTube uh, uh, servo project that I did. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, just so it, it's an easy example, is we're going to actually get the product link from a servo application that I've actually been working on and something that I've been doing. Um, so again, so what, what I wanna do is actually start the system and show you the live data coming in after we get it set up. Now first, we wanna get this stuff set up. So what you wanna do is you wanna come into your, your OPC DDE or over here. Now you can come over here and go to topic configuration. Now the important thing about topic configuration that I don't want you to be aware of is Again, they're, they're calling this DDE OPC. Now, DDE, again, has been in certain versions of, of say, for instance, uh, like uh, Office 2013 has been a problematic, but there are different things you can change on Office to get it to work. If you're trying to transmit your data through Excel, that's a completely different topic, but um, it does work on 365 and uh, I believe 2016 as well and 2010. But um, again, this is the OPC test. So what we wanna do is understanding that the DDE and OPC, OPC is now preferred because it's the non-hackable. Uh, well, not non-hackable, but it's the harder one to hack. So let's just say it that way. This shows me on my topic list over here. This shows me all my topics that are currently have. You can easily see all the programs and stuff that I've actually been working on. So what I'm gonna do is add a new one and I'm gonna call this uh, OPC live data and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come over here to my driver and I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna to point to the processor okay so I'm, why am I pointing to the processor so that it can properly set up the actual connection that it should be pulling the data from right so setting up the connection to the PLC now that I'm gonna click apply I'm gonna double check that by going to the data collection over here and verifying that my processor is a Logix 5000 processor. This is in this application Logix 5000. If you're using something else, you can easily pick that, but it should actually auto detect. Okay, so understand that that should be auto detect. You can actually use symbols if you want to actually select your actual program file. All that's doing is pointing to the actual where the program is. That's you know like an offline version, if you would. So um, an advanced communication should be exactly the communication that you're using in your RS links. As you can see, I'm using the driver OPC live data um, ethernet. And that's very simply done. Um, this driver is just a standard ethernet driver. So just setting that up, it's just a standard ethernet driver. All I did was name it. I changed the name right here to OPC live data test, okay? So just to kind of give you some clarity on that. So now we have our topic set up. We can easily come in here and double check that. If we click on it, it should automatically pop down. Okay, so now it's popped down. We have that set up. And now we're gonna open up our live data test. So if you're wondering where that at, that is at, uh, Windows 10, again, is slightly different. So I, what I do is I, I create a shortcut on my desktop and I have all the, the stuff on there. So what I do is go to links. <clears throat> And then I go to tools and then open up tools. You're going to go to OPC test client. You're going to open up the test client right here. It's going to come over like this. You're going to connect to your server. 
Now, this is where you would understand where you're connecting to. So um, if you have a third party OPC, you would connect to that. Um, in our instance, we want to test out our Rockwell communication and make sure our Rockwell OPC is working. All right. So if we've set up any kind of third party, uh, any kind of third party uh, OPC, you would select that and use this live data test here to verify that you can actually use that. In this case, we're using the RS Linux OPC server. So um, we're going to come in here and add a group and we're going to call this, uh, we'll call this servo reg uh, event. And that's just, we're just tracking the servo registration event. Very simply, we're just going to come in here and add an item. This is where you're going to point. And what this does is this opens up your OPC. Okay, so this is testing your OPC connections. All right, so this is opening up that. These are the same connections you just got through seeing in the actual uh, OPC that we set up over here in your topics. So if you would, if you can look at that, that is pulling up the topics right here that you can choose from. Now, not all these are set up, right? So the only ones that we have, have set up is the live data test right here. You can easily come in here. This is where you would do your offline version if you have your offline file that is currently there but we're testing live data we're testing online version so i'm going to come in here open up my tags I, the tag that i'm currently looking for is not in this group right here because it's actually controller scope so i'm going to click online i'm going to go down i'm going to pick my actual tag that i am actually using which in this case is going to be product length from registrate or from event right here it's a real so I'm going to do product link from event. Then I'm going to add item. I can pick another item if I want to. So I can pick another item if I want to right here. Add another item. So these would be the actual servo positions. Then I would come in here and click OK. Now this should come in here and actually start pulling data from the system. Right. This is giving the runtime, the sample rates and stuff like that this is giving the actual live data that we currently have so if i can shrink this down just a little bit you would see i'm going to shrink this down just a little bit so you can see that how this is running so if you look at this tag right here i'm actually pulling this this data from this actual plc all right so what i'm going to do is actually run the system and you can see the data flowing properly okay so we're going to come over here we're going to start the system up And as you can see, the, the system is running, um, you know, the servo wheel is running, it's actually running, and it has a registration with uh, a little spot on the actual servo wheel that's doing the, has a reflector on it, so it's basically tracking the registration on that. Again, uh, that was based upon a couple of videos that we did, you know, tracking the actual servo registration and how to set that up and how to do an arm and disarm. So again, this is actually tracking properly so I want to show you the, the actual data that's actually tracking with that. So now everything is running and we can easily see that our data is lining up with what we have flowing through our PLC, right? This is a um, this is just a standard L7 processor with uh, running version 32 and it is running RS Lynx uh, Classic. So very simply, you don't have to have this whole setup. You can have just as long as you're not running I want you to, to know that as long as you're not running RS Links Lite, you're running RS Links Classic, and you're running everything in it, and you're able to set up your OPC server. Now, there's another uh, key instance in here too that I want to show you. Is you can also come over here to edit and copy your DDE link if you wanted to OPC DDE link. You can copy one of these links, and you can use it in Excel as well. So if I want to come over here and use it like this. I'm going to do product length. I could copy this. I don't have to actually copy it. I can click OK and then open up the, um, I can open up, let's just say, for instance, uh, uh, Excel file and just paste as. We'll show you that in another video, but in this video, we want to show you, you know, how to use your, or set up your OPC to do a live test and how to be successful with that. Now, again, you can save this and like if you wanted to come back and like to look at it later, come in here and you'll say, We'll call this uh, servo uh, registration reg. Uh, we'll call this 
OPC live test. So what we're going to do is put that on the desktop and we'll have that configuration later. So if we ever want to come back to this, we close it out. And if we ever want to come back in here and open it up again, what we can do is come over here, simply go to here, open, point to where we were. This is our live data test. Open it up and it will automatically pull in so you do not have to rebuild it. It will actually be there for you. So you can have a, a simple test, set everything up, make sure your test is, is there. And you can have a, a quick reference if you want to, if you ever have a question if your live data is working. I want you to note too that inside of your OPC, if you popped up in the client, if you're running that actual uh, software, if you're running a live test right now, and if you come in here, you would actually, oh, let's open it again. Let's actually get it active. Okay, so we're opening it. It's active now. We're coming back into our <clears throat> RS links. We're going to open up RS links, and if you notice, this is going to be locked now. Okay, so the reason it's locked, and you can't make any changes when it's locked, but again, when it, when you have it locked, that's saying that the connection is valid. It is actually, you know, connected to your PLC, to your OPC, throwing, you know, data through it, and it actually has made a connection, and you have everything set up properly. So, um, now there are variations in, in different things. Now I'm going to cut this servo off so that we can actually see all this stuff again. Um, <clears throat> so now our live data is isolated. It's stopped. We still have our fan running because that's the way <laughs> you would still have the uh, that loud fan from the, the PowerFlex uh, 525. But um, as far as that goes, uh, just wanted to show you how to actually set that up. And note too that even if you do have, if like say for instance, if I cut this off, it's not going to automatically you know shut that off. It's going to actually you know, have to shut you know close that window, open up that window again, open up your topics, and it will show released. So at that point, you can actually start editing it again if you wanted to. Um, some, some things like here, like processor type, or maybe even you wanted to throw in some packets, or or just do different stuff, or you know change the the path. You can you can easily do that. So um, hopefully that video was helpful and it showed you you know how to actually test your data, why you would test your data, and you know things that you would actually look for and different things. You know there's again when you're doing OPC, there's a very um, I guess wide spectrum of different problems you could have or different things you have to overcome. Again, this is just one of the simple things you can do to use as troubleshooting to help you with OPC. So uh, again, hopefully that video was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.